Young Emperor Tolia was looking for some entertainment. And how could anyone of his predecessors have lived without a court just and he knew just the one. He really liked Princess Jilla the Heavenly, his aunt of Nenezia. She always seemed a little bit unnerved by him and had some of her outbreaks. But she always had these funny things, she said, spitting and assaulting those nearby, as if possessed by evil spirits. Yeah, I mean, totally, totally. Um, she is the right one for the court jester job, right? That's probably very good. Then we have a poet, so uh, a teller of tales. And of course, we love that as well. Let's see. Uh, yeah, the depressed Jal Wang of Petra. We're looking forward to his beautiful tales. The beautiful tales of this dull and depressed poet. Maybe another Ulysses will come out of his hand. We don't know. Uh, we have another herdman who could go f go along with us. How about that man, Halfgay, the Jarl of Estonia? He seems like a good man to go with. Mm. And that's about it. And there's something else now. Um, well, what are we doing here? What have we done? Oh, that's our steward. Yeah, so... What we want to do is first start time, and then we have a new. We could build a new holding, and why not? I mean, young Emperor Tolia loves markets and competitions and stuff, and maybe he would like to start another city. And oh, look at that! We also need an education focus, and oh my goodness me! A martial education seems just the right thing for us. So here we go. Very nice. We're also writing a book. Did I say that? Yeah, we're actually writing a book at age 11. <laughs> well, all of our predecessors have written books, or at least the last ones were pretty active in that case. So hmm. why not, right? Why not? We're gonna write books. Let's have a look at our brother John Magni. He already has a betrothed Freya of Tobish. Well, she's just, she's affectionate and timid. She seems like a quite a good choice, so it's not bad. But we're not gonna have a betrothed right now. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make a conscious choice later on. And we're already um, interested, of course, at age 12. It probably starts. So, um, we could build a city. And actually, why not, right? Let, let's build a city. Um, we'll not use our steward because he's so bad, he'll probably get something, get something off done. We already have a city and a temple. We'll build the city and... We'll name it after us. So it, it will be called Toleria or something like that. So here we go. Or maybe why not Dovrania? Let's see, we can negotiate with someone named Gorm. Right, and they are here at... Oh my god, what is that? The Polish Liberation Revolt? Woo, we don't want the Polish Liberation Revolt nearby. Woo, and the army of Dobieslav. Neither. There's been a keep build, been built in Okladinkova. Where is it? And yeah, there's the raiders and there's Okladinkova. Yeah, nice, the keep. Keeps been built. Yeah, we're a big fan of that. There's a crusade against our religion. The target is this man. We think high, uh, highly of it, or we think he's okay. He really doesn't like us. Bertolt the Holy. Mm. 
and it's against yeah against the Catholics well we've always we have always defended them so let's continue even if Australia is a worrying development we will also yeah and actually we would know something about the, the choices of marshals right so we can choose the king of Estonia he's an organizer so that's pretty useful moving the army quick he is living in Silbert my goodness he wants to become a paragon of virtue then we have Aspion, the Jarl of Smallland, who is content, envious, diligent, and a Midas touched. And we have Gandalf, the mayor of Stockholm, is also content. And we have Thorfinn, our Dovre kinsman. And maybe we know this man. I don't know. It could be. He's living at the court, doing nothing all day. Maybe he would meet we would meet him. Same goes for Orma, this courtier here. He's a misguided warrior. He's cruel and deceitful. Maybe he's good as a commander. He's expendable, definitely. And, um, we could give him something to do. And yeah, so it's. I think it's either... I mean, we're really impressed by people who really have also the, the education for it. So... It's probably either Gandalf or Ormer, and seeing he's most expendable, we're going to take Ormer for that. Yeah, look at that. Oh, what a competence team, like the steward and the chancellor doing it as they can, which is not that great, but it will have to suffice. It will have to suffice. So in two years, we're going to have a city, actually, another city here in Kuloi. That's going to be nice. Um, let's watch the intrigues, right? There's always some intrigues. They want to kill Dag. Woo. That's not good. And uh, we're still writing a book. We should be fine with that, though. I'm pleased to hear that after a period of peace and shrewd management, the county of Bjarmia is doing well. People are happy. The tax collectors are reporting record intakes. Yeah, that's pretty nice, right? We could lead wars, but we're in a Regency Council. Oh, where's this man? Oh, look at that. There's a couple of people. Could we... We could raise a little bit more. Should we? I mean, we have these two. This one, I don't know. Let's uh, put them together into it. We need a couple of troops. We need to get rid of these people here. Oh, they're moving away already. Okay, all right. Ah, uh, they're running away. Well then, send my people home. They said, well, hello. Mayor Sigurd, you can also return. And we're fine. Playing outside and scratching my knees has taught me to act quickly without a necessary pause for thinking. Oh my goodness. Thinking was never my strong side anyway. We lose Rowdy and get dull. Ah! Great, we're dull. Just like that, we're dull. Yeah, the unnecessary thinking. And now we're writing a dull book about the dullness. Oh, it's going to be great. It, we're going to be a great dull warrior. Or we could go hunting, seeing that there's not really much to do. Oh, we're still not bad, though. Still not bad for the age of 12. Still good stats we have. 
yeah, that's probably due to all the freaking artifacts we have. Well then, we're dull now. <laughs> this is what happiness looks like. Happiness comes to the dull. Composing a book? Having invested myself in this literary endeavor, I've been feeling drained lately. When my scribes ask me what the next section of the book should be about, I throw my hands out in the air. How should I know? You cannot rush these things. I need inspiration. Mm. Late night festivities with my soldiers or some kind of drog from Bolkadar. We could get wounded or severely injured or no effect. I mean, we're dull. We're probably going out with the soldiers and giving us, like, at 12, drinking meat, and we shouldn't. Perhaps I'll indulge in some late-night festivities with my soldiers. Nothing happened. My lead, it pains me to say, but there's a traitor in the realm. Anlauf the Pious of the Livonian Revolt. Ah, uh, this rotten egg is plotting your downfall. I enclose the damning evidence with this letter. Mm. Evidence? This is nonsense. Falsely convicted. How should we know? Do we trust this man? Unlauf the pious or dark the ill ruler. Mm. We're gonna probably believe this man because he's first our marshal, our cup bearer, and he's a little bit older and higher in rank, and we like him a little bit more. So fetch me the traitor. It's kind of odd, but we will definitely do that. Unlauf the pious. Does he have anything? No. Just nothing. The chieftain of Skara, whoever's imprisoned there, right? Ingibjörg. Arrange marriage. Oh, uh, King Val the Red, the ill ruler, and Rönnhild. Helgis dot here should marry. She's a lunatic, we'll accept. And that's probably something fun for him. As dull as he is, he's maybe looking out for his court. And maybe that's that's some kind of game, right? For him, let's see about um, married, no. And uh, let's see who wants to marry. Making couples. If Holmfried, our court tutor here, She's very nice, and I don't know, let's sort after age, right? Who is not married at a high age? We have Sterla, our courtier. Venezia, let's arrange a marriage for him. He doesn't have much time. Eggwin Sigurix Doctor. Here we go. He wants to get married. Then we have Gunnar. Also a Dovre, so it's fine. We'll we have always yeah. We're looking out for for our people. And he'll get Holmfrid. Here we go. He's possessed, but we don't care. It's it's fine.
they are probably thankful we're giving them what they want and they are I don't know they should be fine oh look at that the Queen of Burgundy is in prison imprisoned by Duke Mael in Poitiers my prisoner Unlauf the Pious is complaining about his dark cell in the dungeon asking for more suitable recommendations well he's a traitor we think at least um, we'll do nothing because we don't understand that probably we can we can do peace with Livonia hmm, no could ransom him not really eh? we're not gonna do anything about that We can negotiate with someone named Volta and he will get nothing. How is our city doing? Mm, it's coming, but not now. So what is most likely for him at the moment? He's probably going to hunt because the art of war, that probably doesn't mean too much for him. We'll see. During this evening's council meeting, Marshal Dark told us of a rumor he had encountered. Wow, he's really pretty. We trust him because he's so. Uh, he's, he's a poet. He's making up stories. The peasants speak of an artifact hidden not far away from here. The specifics of Dark's information are uncertain. Perhaps this would be worth investigating. Our Marshal. Arrange a search. Of course, we want him to arrange a search. My liege, oh, our spy master. I believe that one of your vassals can be discouraged from associating with factions, but we trust Jarl Dark. We will do nothing for now, of course. He's, he's, he's the best man we have. That's what we think. So, the hunt for the rumored artifact has begun to slow down, Marshal just Dark just informed me has some valuable and promising leads, but to investigate them, the search must venture into distant, inhospitable lands. Dark claims he needs more soldiers to attempt such a venture. National levy size minus 25. Wow, we cannot miss this opportunity though. Yeah, we have heard everything about, like, um, yeah, treasure and pirate treasure and that's that's totally our thing right now as a child so yeah look for that look for that we can imprison Jal Choste what has he done what has this man done well he's possessed we cannot really imprison him hmm. not anymore huh we have found an apostate how the Marshal of Gdov? He's possessed, arbitrary, brave though, gregarious, greedy, cruel, paranoid, scarred, a brilliant strategist. We should recruit him, really. We could learn so much from him, but instead uh, we'll burn the apostate because we trust Gordy Refer normally. Burn the apostate! Yeah, that's probably not fitting with our kindness, right? But uh, that's probably what our our spy master has done. He's not kind at all. He's depressed. A city, a city. We now have a city. So we have here Bragidora. Getting a lot of things in. And city of Sotka. No, not Sotka. Uh, We'll call it uh, Toleria. What is that? Create a new vessel. We have named it Toleria now. Let's close this. Yeah, Toleria is here. And we need someone who... who uh, 
takes this over. Let's see. Who is at the court and doing nothing? Search the court. Uh, someone with good stewardship who's who's really I mean we have this man who's really good for nothing. We'll just give him that so he, he goes away. The city of Toleria. Including lower titles? No. He'll get the city of Toleria. Here we go. Thorolf. So we have this man of uh, of the court and we have this taken care of with no one who is really overwhelmingly good or something like that. So here we go. Mm. Wow, a lot of intrigue is going again. How is that going? We are we're doing something. And really we would also yeah, we are improving something already and we'll do continue to do that in our heartlands. Let's see. We don't even have barracks. How about Dwina? Yeah, barracks. He's a soldier at heart, a dull soldier. It's gonna be barracks. And here? What do we have here? Training grounds also sound nice. My vassal King Orke of Estonia has requested that a lower rank vassal should serve him rather than me directly. Jal Halfgate, King Orke. Jarl Halfgate is one of our best vassals, right? But it's true, we have too many vassals. He can have a vassal for a favor. Here we go. Mm. We need a new commander though now. Let's see whom we can have there. Uh, and now Orca has to go for that. He's also celibate, so don't know. Um, what's going on here? Known plots. Not much going on. A lower rank vassal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. What's going on with Rogaland? And this county here, or this rather... He will join us. King Rodolf of Wiccan. Yeah, I accept to swear fealty to you and serve as your vassal lord. Oh, that's so nice of you. And there we go. The Jarl of Wiccan is welcome. Well, you just have to ask, right? It's sometimes as easy as that. You just have to ask. What's going on with this man? The king of Vladimir. And this island here? Orland. Sometimes Sarama will not join. Because of foreign culture. Estonian culture. Well then. Venezia has grown anyways, and this part here, Skargen, has also joined. Well, that's very nice, of course. How about Finn? No, not that much. What's, what's that island here? Rügen! Hmm. Tundava Tikjashit form the defensive pact. Yeah, now that's the defensive pact. Just because we asked someone to join us. We like to make friends. Mm. 
Golly, our aunt, our very young aunt though. Maybe we want to play with her with a martial education, right? And dull, my goodness. It's gonna be interesting. Hell must have cast a curse on me, and my venture to recover the lost artifacts for it was was just brought the most dreadful news. Marshal Dark died in an unexplainable accident while searching for the artifact. Jarl Dark, one of our closest allies, is with Odin now. Marshal Dark can no longer fulfill his duty to search for the rumored artifact. I can select another counselor to replace him. Can ask one of his counselors to search for the artifact. Whom will we choose? Really, um, Spy Master's probably good. Hmm. We have this man who is good, who could be our marshal. Search of the rank we have. Toss to the Jarl of Sjelland. Ugh. Wow, he's pretty bad. Renwald or Sigurd. Hrodulf, the Jarl of Wickham. Make this new man our counselor. On the other hand, this man is just extremely good. And, well, I don't know. Jarl Helgi. He should search for the artifact. Alas. And we need a new commander. And that's gonna be Rodolf. So he's also into it. And we need a new herdman because Dark just died. We have Orke, the king of Estonia, a cupbearer, Haldor, for some reason, really likes us. He's also dull, so we probably understand each other well. Jarl Haldor of Jamtaland. And this is the new one. He's 13. We probably know him. He's gluttonous. Well, well, at that young age, that's that's nice. It's nice. Let's see how our book works out, right? My goodness. <coughs> Transfer Helgi shared an intriguing discovery with me. During his search for the artifact, he's come across the rumors of an even rarer object. We decide to pursue this new lead. Instead, we can still make use of some of the old research and resources, Helgi tells me. Um, how exciting! We shall investigate the new lead instead. Are we stressed now? No. <laughs> We're a child. We're just looking for the exciting things all the time, right? It's so exciting. And now... Let me drink something to get rid of this cuff. Ah, it's so exciting. What will we find in this search for the artifact? Well, first we find prosperity in Sudermanland. Sudermanland prospers and we will find the artifact in the next episode. Thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. This is Immanuel Khan signing out. See you soon, my friends, and happy gaming.